I have the perfect spot to practice apps here. Starts out very small and goes up to very big. So we'll start here at the small spot. And the first thing you want to do, anything roughly two to three feet high, you want to start your wheelie back about as tall as the obstacle is. So we'll start out here. It's about two feet tall. We're going to start the wheelie just about two feet back. And the first blip of throttle is just to bring the front wheel up. You're not trying to get over it with the first blip of throttle. You're just controlling the wheelie and trying to set it down right below the top. You don't want to be too low or too high. Too low and you'll stuff underneath and you won't get enough forward momentum. Too high and it'll be really hard to get the rear tire to lift. So you want to hit it right on the top edge here, but on the back side of it, try to get both suspensions to compress and rebound. And you want to wait for the suspension to compress. And when it's ready to rebound, that's when you pop the clutch, jump with your legs and your arms, and try to lift the back tire up to land right where the front tire was. It's a little bit muddy right now, so when my rear tire lands up top, I'm really making sure I slip the clutch, keep my body weight back, and keep the tire from spinning too much and maintain traction to hold the wheelie and land on the other side. Sometimes it can help to draw a line in the dirt where you want to pull your wheelie up just for a visual. Some people don't like where you have to pull a wheelie for a zap, so that just keeps them from going too far or starting it too soon. And it just makes the timing a bit easier because zaps are all about timing. Right when that front tire hits and the suspension compresses, you really got to be quick with the clutch. It's just popping it all the way out as fast as you can with a good burst of throttle. Light first throttle, hard second throttle, pop the clutch, jump up, land the rear tire on top. Moving on down where it's a little bit bigger, the technique is the same, but you just want to exaggerate your body a little bit, put more effort into it. When the front tire hits, you want to stomp down on the foot pegs a little bit harder to load the suspension even more, and then use that rebound to jump with your body even more, a little bit more throttle and quicker burst of the clutch, and it should help you get over bigger obstacles. You shouldn't need to use the brakes at all on this, but if you start to feel yourself loop out on top, then try to pull the clutch in, get on the rear brake, and bring the front end down. First gear is best for all small flat ground zaps, but it is good to play with second gear just to get comfortable with it. Sometimes you need a little more speed or maybe it's on a hill. You just want to know what each gear feels like and how much you have to do with your body and what the timing is going to be like in each gear. Now I'm up to about handlebar height here and just like before, the technique is the same. Right when that front tire hits, I'm going to want to explode with the power even quicker than before, give it a little more throttle and jump with my body, lift with my legs and my arms and try to make the rear tire land right where the front tire was. Well that was hard. I recommend starting on something you don't have to hold pressure on, something nice and flat up top and just try to get the lift and try to hold the front tire up but make it so you don't have to because it, there's much more consequences when you do start to get a little bit taller of obstacles. You set the front end down you're going over the bar. So start small, work your way up and remember timing, timing, timing. It's all about timing. If you're off time just a little bit it's not going to work. So keep practicing until you get that timing right.